Hey guys, sorry for walking primitive. I wanted to show you something today. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited to show you this. It's something I just did for the first time. And uh, I know there's many videos out there, many people have seen this, but for the sake of my own channel, I want to put it out there. Because what good would I be doing if I gained knowledge and didn't share it with those who also might not have done this before? We're going to talk about the uh, bamboo fire saw. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate that here. Spider living in my bamboo. But, uh, talk a little bit about it and demonstrate it and uh, now somebody when I was excited the other day I did it for the first time I shared it with a friend of mine he asked me for any tips and tricks that I might know and I'm like well you know I haven't really done it enough to uh, know too many you know tricks or what I did right what I did wrong because it was just a, a first time for me so uh, I just want to explain what I did I want to re you know demonstrate again exactly what I did to, uh, to get that first time I did get a first time coal uh, the very first time I did it, immediately after that I tried it again and got a second call. Um, so whatever I did was doing, I did right. So I'm just going to recreate that and show you. So for anybody who's tried this and has, has failed or has been able to do it themselves, you know, I'm showing you what I did. Uh, it's just how I did it. It's not, you know, the best way. I'm not trying to say it's the best way or not, but it's the you know, perfect way to do it. Um, but I'm going to go over uh, exactly what I did. First off, I want to say that, uh, um, you know, Make sure you got dry bamboo. I know someone who's been trying to do it, and uh, they showed them, sent me a picture of their bamboo, and their bamboo was a little green still. Um, this is completely dry, yellow bamboo. If it's yellow uh, to white, you know, then you know it's completely dry. If you open it up and there's no moisture and, and no wetness in it, you know, you want to make sure it's completely dry. If it's not dry, it's not going to work out for you. Um, so if it's green, then you know you need to let your bamboo dry out or find drier bamboo. Uh, for those who don't have bamboo, because, yeah, I live in Pennsylvania, we don't have bamboo growing out in the woods. Um, for those that don't have bamboo, and just for the sake of letting you know that it can be done, this is a store-bought friend of mine gave me this bamboo as a gift. Uh, thanks, Alan, um, to, to play around with, so I'll be doing some stuff with some bamboo uh, here in the future. Uh, but this is the, you know, the Home Depot bamboo that they sell there, so if you don't live in an area that has bamboo and you want to try this, you can go out and purchase yourself some. And, uh, and, uh, and do the bamboo fire saw. Now, to set it up, uh, the first thing we gotta do, obviously, is get ourselves a tinder bundle. Um, I do have a tinder bundle, a larger tinder bundle that I'm gonna transfer the coal into the, the start of fire, to start the fire, but uh, we need to make a tinder bundle with the bamboo itself. Uh, unlike other friction fire methods, like the bow drill or the hand drill, uh, and, and other various ones, you know, you, you create the coal with the dust that you're making with the bamboo fire saw. You actually create a tinder bundle, put that on there, and you're igniting that tinder bundle into a coal. So, the first, the way we're going to do that, now, but the best way, I mean, okay, well, I'm not saying it's the best way, but the way I'm going to do that, the way I did it, is I used the bamboo itself, and uh, because it's dry, and all I did was on the outside edge of it with my knife. I just scraped a nice pile of shavings. You know, I'm using the actually using the blade of my knife and just dragging across because what that's doing is making really, really nice, like tissue thin little uh, shavings. So we'll go ahead and get a pile of this going. be about enough. That's about how much I used the last time. I thought I used a little bit more. But that should still do the trick. So, got our, uh, our shavings there. Set that off to the side for right now. Um, now, if, you know, if you're shaving it and you are feeling a little dampness in it, you know, if you're not in a hurry, if you're not in a rush to get your fire started, which, you know, most survival and emergency situations, you would be in a rush. 
you can always just leave it out in the sun for a little bit to dry out. Or if you're preparing it, it would be a good thing to, to prep and make your tinder ahead of time if you know you know you might need it the next day you know find yourself a piece of bamboo and create some shavings dry it out put it in a waterproof container or whatnot if you have that available but the next thing we got to do obviously these two pieces because i used them yesterday we're all we're uh, are split already but uh the next thing obviously i needed to do was to split it which is very easy to do with just you know just with my mora i was able to tap it in there and just lightly baton it down and bamboo splits in half very, very easily, uh, whether it's green or or uh, dry. You know, it, it splits very, very easily. No need to demonstrate that, it's pretty common sense. The next thing I gotta do is make a notch, all right? Because the way the fire saw works is, you see this edge is burnt out. That's where I burnt the first uh, two coals the other day. And there's a notch cut in here, and we're actually setting this in the notch and moving it back and forth, which I'll demonstrate in a bit. And that's what's gonna create the heat. The only thing I'm going to change though is, you see where that notch is, it's out here and I had to kind of hold with my thumbs the tinder bundle in place there. What I'm going to do this time though is, for the sake of this demonstration, is uh, I'm actually going to cut my notch a little closer to the little node. So that kind of gives me a little something else to hold that, uh, that tinder bundle in. So it's not sitting a little bit off. Now some people have seen have a big huge giant pile of tinder, tinder in there. Um, I used about that much like I just scraped when I did it and it, and it worked. So either way, it both worked. Uh, the one thing I don't want to do though is, you know, uh, is push down so it's completely clogging that hole so there's no uh, air, oxygen getting in there. You want oxygen to be able to flow in there so you kind of want to loosely pack and place it in there nicely. But uh, the first thing I said I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a notch. Uh, I'm redoing the notch. Because this one here, I believe, might be burned in too much. I'm not sure. I probably could do it again. But for sake of doing demonstration for the video, I'm going to go ahead and cut another notch in here. Now, dry bamboo is a little difficult to, to cut like this when when it's when it's uh, dry. So uh, you know, have a sharp knife. Be safe. Use proper technique. This bamboo is slippery. You know, you don't want to be holding your knife here and accidentally slip and, and cut, cut yourself. So, I don't want anybody sending me messages that, you know, they cut their femoral artery open or something because they're practicing what I was showing in the video. So, please take, you know, some safety precautions when you're doing it. Cutting it in a, a safe manner, as well as doing it the way I'm doing it with the notch on the outside, we're cutting it from the outside, you know, it does take some time. And you might think to yourself, you know, well, hey, what, you know, just taking a knife and jabbing it down in there and cutting it from the inside be a little easier, which it might be. I'm not going to say it is or isn't. But if you see here, I got a larger cut in the back, and now it's making a small hole in the, in the inside, all right? What this is doing, this is actually making a rail, a larger hole, a rail, which the bamboo is going to sit in and run back and forth. And and it's leaving a smaller hole on the inside, which means all that heat and all that friction is going to be concentrated in one fine point. And it's going to make it hotter. You know, if you came in here, I am going to open it up just a tad, just because that gap's a little bit. Because you see how this one I burned out. This is two of them. I made two coals of this hole, and it burned open. It was originally the same size as this, but it heated and burned this this wide. So you want that friction concentrated on that one small point. So if you try to dig it out from the inside, it might be making it too wide. Because, you know, I could set this on here and move it back and forth, and there's really no friction because that hole is a lot bigger. Whereas this small little gap is going to create a lot more friction. So now I got 
uh, a notch cut in there. Like I said, I got that little rail, that little channel, a little hole in the inside. I did it, you can see I did it closer to the node because I'm going to put that tender bundle in here and it's going to have a little bit more stability in there. And uh, talk about the length. Uh, the way I'm sitting is the way I did it. It's the way I've seen most people do it. Um, Knife Run Slater isn't a better or easier, more comfortable way for you or anybody else to do it. But uh, the way I did it was, you know, I cut my bamboo a little. I wish it was a little bit longer, actually, just because of my height. You know, everybody's height's different, torso's different. But um, I'm going to cut about this size so that what we're going to do is we're going to put that notch right on that edge. All right, as you can see, I burnt this one already, so I'm using a different one. And then I'm going to hold that tinder bundle. The tinder bundle is going to place right there, and when I move, I'm going to move straight up and down, full, you know, full range of motion, but I'm going to put downward pressure on there. And, and uh, that's the one thing I did concentrate on the most when I was doing this, was not necessarily the, uh, the length of my strokes, but I was concentrating the most on my pressure. I'm putting that downward pressure in. And within minutes, I started, within seconds, I started smelling the wood burning. And then within minutes, I had, like I said, I did both coals within eight minutes. So it, it was pretty quick, you know. Watch it make me a liar today as I re try to recreate what I did. But as I said, I put that thinner bundle in there. I'm not going to pack it in there because then no oxygen is going to get up through there. And, you know, you need, fi you need oxygen for fire. So, you know, I'm going to make sure it's, it's not completely packed. But I got it sitting in there. I got my other tinder bundle ready for the transfer. Ouch. Get it in a comfortable spot. That's why I wish it was a little bit longer. There we go. I got it in there. See, it's already turning that bamboo black, and I'm already smelling it. it smell kind of like burned corn husk. Oops. Now I've got smoke. But add more pressure to it. Keep that pressure on there. Keep those strokes consistent. Ah, uh, see, like I said, I don't. going to make me a liar today. <laughs> We're going to keep going with it. We're going to keep going with it and keep trying. Um, the one thing I did too to make sure I got a cold was, you know, you don't want to get overly excited and try to rush it. Might have had that packed in there a little too much. When you get it up, you know, kind of baby it while it's in here. I've seen some people you know, actually start the fire right on here. I'll just sit here and blow it, get the fire going, and build a fire right on top of it. But I figured I want to reuse my bamboo, so I didn't want to do that. So I actually transferred it, and we'll do that to another tinder bundle here once we get a coal. Still got nothing.
There we go. Come on, baby. Now we got some serious smoke. had one. Had it. It was there. I think this video is going to make me look like a liar. <laughs> Been at this for a while. But it's a good lesson though that, you know, just because you do something the first time and it works out, you still got to practice it. It might not be the same the second time you try it. Uh, you see, I've been working on this for a while and I don't know, uh, what I'm doing differently. I try to change it up a few different ways and uh, just 
nothing seems to be working out at the moment. So uh, I'm going to keep on practicing and uh, hopefully I get the same results as I did the very, very first and second time that I've done this. But uh, maybe you guys got some tips and tricks uh, to give me for it. But, uh, I've tried a few different things that seem to be working better. I did get real close to a coal a couple times. I mean, I was getting some good smoke and the tinder was pretty uh, black and charred up. The very, very last attempt, I uh, saw it rubbed almost completely through the bamboo and it snapped on me. And when I picked the tinder bundle up, I mean, it was it was black and it was almost there was almost a coal in there. And, uh, pretty close. So uh, I'm gonna keep on practicing and uh, catch the catch the uh, the uh, finished result on, on part two of this when I when I get to it. But uh, I'm pretty beat for now. So, sorry, George. Welcome, Thanks for watching.